one thing that I forgot to mention, um, if you have something like I have a hyperextended neck, so before we get started, you may need to grab a towel. If your neck as during these exercises feel like it's just a little bit, you know, forward, you know, what I mean by that is I'm sitting back like this and my neck is just really twisted back. But if I put a pillow or a towel underneath, I get more of an alignment in there. So um, that's something that if you need to go grab real quick, it'll just help during some of these exercises so you're not hurting your neck so much. And then I just want to say thanks to AMR. This has been really fun to do with them. Um, and I'm still doing my running. And I am uh, CEO of Nature's Gem. So we will start to, uh, we're going to do another Matt Pilates. We're going to keep challenging your core a little bit. And then uh, I'll also be explaining a little more in depth. We'll take some exercises slow, slower, and just keep engaging that core before you run. So what we're gonna do is just lie on the floor. I'm gonna have my feet hip width apart and my arms are reaching nice and long. I'm gonna make sure my mat is straight because I'm a little crooked. Make sure that your body is feeling, if you feel a little crooked, just make sure you get back into alignment and just take a nice deep breath in and exhale all the air out. And when you think you have all the air out, just exhale a little bit more and you're gonna feel your belly button drop down and almost kind of come up over under your ribs a little bit. And so we're starting to engage that core. So we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. Exhale all the air out. Relaxing the shoulders, opening them up nice and wide. One more deep breath in. Exhale all the air out. Good. Exhale all that stress. I know a lot of you are moms with their kids at home. So God love you. So now let's bring our legs up into tabletop. My legs are still apart. I'm going to leave my head down for this. I'm going to place my hands on top of my knees. And as I press down on my knees, my knees are pressing up into my hands. And you're gonna inhale, and then you're gonna exhale and press down in opposition. So I'm gonna take a nice deep breath in. And I'm gonna exhale all my air out as, as I'm doing that, I'm pressing my knees into my hands, my hands into my knees. Take a deep breath in and release. And exhale, all the air out, making sure that your shoulders are down your back and release. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, make sure you're keeping your legs at tabletop. Release and inhale. Exhale. and release. Now put your hands on the inside of your knees. And again, I'm going to inhale. And when I exhale, I'm going to press my hands to my knees, my knees to my hands, but I'm not closing my legs. So take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, I'm pressing my knees into my hands, my hands into my knees. Take a nice deep breath in. Release. Exhale. Pressing hands into the knees. Release on the inhale. Shoulders are down the back. And exhale. My legs are still at tabletop, so I'm not letting them drop. I want to keep them here. Release and inhale. Exhale. Now move your hands to the outside of your knees, and we're going to do the same thing. You're going to inhale and exhale, pressing in opposition. Inhale releases. Exhale presses in opposition. Inhale releases. Exhale press in opposition. Hands into the knees, knees into the hands. 
Last one, deep breath in. Exhale, pressing, pressing, pressing. And now the hands move to the front of the knees. This is the hardest one. Deep breath in. Press it out, hands into the knees or the thighs, thighs into the hands. And release on the inhale. My tailbone is nice and long on the mat. I don't have it coming off. Exhale. And a nice deep breath in. Release it. And exhale and press, press, press. You should really feel that lower abdominal muscle start to engage. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Lower the feet. If you need to, bring your knees into your chest. Just kind of loosen up that lower back. And I'm gonna put my feet down onto the mat, they're hip width apart, and we're just gonna do some nice little pelvic tilts to loosen up our lower back. So, with my navel up towards my nose, think about it as a clock. So my nose is gonna be 12 o'clock, and my pelvic bone is gonna be six o'clock. So this isn't a very big move. I'm going to gently, I'm gonna just put my arms to the side, but I'm just gonna gently move my pelvis like I'm bringing my belly button up underneath my ribs up towards 12 o'clock. So I'm not, I don't wanna be lifting my booty off the ground. I'm just tilting my pelvis and then I'm gonna tilt it nice and long towards six o'clock. So it's like bringing your belly button down onto the mat, tilting it up to 12 o'clock. And now I'm gonna release it and bring it down towards six o'clock. This time, just put your hands and rest them on your hips. Put, them, put your hands onto your thighs. Tilt your pelvis to 12 o'clock. Making sure that your ribs are nice and flat too. And as you tilt your pelvis to six o'clock, gently press into your thighs. And you should start to feel a nice stretch into your lower back. And hold that stretch right at six o'clock. We're gonna hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, gently release your hands from your thighs. This is a really good exercise when you're running and maybe your lower back is super tight. This is a way to do your self-traction. So we're gonna do that again. I've now got my spine in neutral. So, and now I'm just going to take my palms of my hands and I'm going to press into my thighs and I'm just gonna relax my spine and you should start to feel a little bit of uh, space and release into your lower back, especially if you're tight. And I'm just gonna hold this to the count of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and it's slowly releasing. So think of your spine like a rubber band. We don't really wanna stretch it out and just let it go because it'll snap back. We wanna just do a nice gentle release. Now bring your knees into your chest and we're just gonna loosen up our back. I'm gonna put my hands down onto the mat. I've got my pelvis nice and flat onto the mat so I don't have my uh, tushy off the ground. And I'm just gonna extend my legs to 90 degrees and we're gonna get ready for the 100. The 100 is how we build up our cardio. So I've got my, hand, my legs up to 90 degrees. If you need to bend it, that's okay. It doesn't need to be straight. I'm gonna curl my head off the mat. So I'm gonna lift my head and then I'm drawing an imaginary line down the uh, ceiling. And I'm gonna look right at my knees. I'm coming right up just to my shoulder blades. I'm gonna extend my arms nice and long and I'm gonna inhale when I start to pump my hands. And so we inhale to the count of five, 
two, three, four, five. And then I'm exhaling to the count of five, two, three, four, five. We repeat that 10 times, which is how we get to the hundred. And perhaps when I'm talking, I kind of forget which one we're on. So perhaps we might do 90, perhaps we might do 110. If it gets too much for your neck, it's okay to lie down and keep pumping. That's very okay. The whole part of it is to get the cardio in, and we really just want to make sure that your legs are engaged. If you want to challenge yourself, you can always lower your legs just a little bit. And now I'm reaching nice and long. I've got my lower abdominal muscle really engaged. I'm not up too high on my shoulder blades. I'm nice, I'm just right at the tip of my shoulder blades. If I'm starting to feel that it's getting a little too much, I might bend my knees. And last set, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Lower the head, lower the legs. And now we're gonna get ready for the roll up. So you can either do one of two things. You can uh, walk your legs and keep them bent, or you can do this exercise lying flat. I'm gonna start with the bent legs. I've got my lower abdominals, like my belly buttons in, my ribs are down, they're not popped up. I've got my arms up to the ceiling, and for now, let's just reach up to the ceiling and then drop your shoulders into the mat. And we're gonna reach up to the ceiling and drop your shoulders into the mat because what we're doing is we're really plugging our, our shoulders, and that's where we wanna have the, that engagement right into the lat muscles. I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to actually, uh, you can either spread your legs apart or put them together. Now I'm going to, with my arms, I'm not going to move my shoulders, you know, up by my ears. I'm going to bring my arms down to the bottom of my thighs. I'm going to lift my head. I'm going to curl my nose. And with my abdominal muscles, I'm going to walk up my, my, the back of my thighs. Then I'm going to really tilt my pelvis long towards six o'clock. So I don't want that pelvis tilting towards 12 as we slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time, the head comes back down. Again, we're gonna slowly lift the head, curl up the legs, And then we're gonna inhale and on the exhale, we'll roll down slowly, one vertebrae at a time, making sure that your pelvis is nice and long towards 12 o'clock. To advance this, I'm gonna bring my legs long, my feet are flexed, my hands are up to the ceiling, I'm gonna plug them in my back, I'm gonna reach back, but I don't wanna reach back to where I pop my ribs, I'm going to curl up, and as I curl up, my hands go forward, my abs are bringing me up, and I'm sliding my hands down a tabletop. And then I'm going to keep my pelvis long towards 12 o'clock, keeping it nice and flat, and lower back down, and as I lower back down, my arms come back up to the ceiling. Arms go back, nice deep breath in, exhale, reaching over. I've still got my tummy engaged. I'm not collapsing. I'm looking straight at my knees. And now I'm going to start to slower down, lower down. I've got my pelvis reaching long towards 12, so I don't want it tilting up towards, or it's down towards six. Sorry, guys. And we're going to do two more, nice and slow. The hardest part of the exercise is really getting the shoulder blades off the, the, uh, the mat. Nice and flat as we go back, last one. Exhale as we go up. Reaching long to the table. My shoulders are down my back. My pelvis is reaching long towards six. And now I'm gonna lower my arms. We're gonna do, uh, one leg circles. So I'm going to really anchor into my left leg and my right leg is gonna go up to the ceiling. 
This is all about pelvic stability. So let's put our hands onto our hips. And the range of the circle will be how, how big of a circle can you make and keep your hips nice and level. So I'm gonna kick up to my left shoulder, I'm gonna bring my leg around, and then I'm gonna stop at the center. So if I'm doing this, and I'm doing a big circle, my hips are moving too much, I'm going to make that circle nice and small. It's nice and controlled from the lower abdominal muscle, which is why I have you hold your hands onto your hips. I've got my left leg flex, my foot is flexed, and it's really pressing down into the mat, giving me stability. And now let's reverse the circle. So I'm gonna kick up to my left shoulder and bring it around and stop. If you need to bend your leg, that's okay. And down and around and stop, down and around and stop. One more, down and around and stop. Bend the knee, hug it into the chest. Lift it to the ceiling, flex your foot, and just bring it all the way down to match the other leg. Other leg, let's just bring it into the chest. I've got my uh, right foot is flexed. I'm really pressing down hard into my right leg. The foot goes, left leg goes up to the ceiling. Now I'm pressing also into the mat here. If you, if you need that for stability, I'm gonna bring my leg up to my shoulder and circle. And circle. Down and around and up. Down and around and up. Don't forget to keep pressing into that opposite leg on the floor. One more this way and reverse. Down and around and up. Down and around and up. Again, if I'm feeling like I don't know my range, I'm gonna put my hands right here on my hips so I know that I'm not lifting my hips off that mat, which might make that circle just that much smaller. That's okay. Bend the knee. Hug it into the chest, lift it to the ceiling, flex the foot, and bring it down to the opposite leg. We're gonna sit up. We're gonna just do a couple rolling like a ball. Rolling like a ball is a great spine massage. So I'm going to sit up. I'm gonna wrap my arms around my legs. A nice way to stabilize this is I'm gonna press my uh, legs into my arms. And all I want you to do is lift your toes off the mat and just hold it there. And when you're ready, I just want you to roll back, scoop your belly, brings you back up. And stay nice and tight like the ball. We're gonna roll back and come back up. Last one, roll back, come back up, hold it, hold it, hold it, and lower the feet. Getting ready for single leg stretch. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna put it on my right ankle. I'm gonna extend out my left leg. My left hand goes right under my knee. I'm going to lift my right foot and I'm gonna curl back. And as I curl back, my left foot comes forward. Now you can do this with your um, head curled up or you can also do this exercise with your head down. Whatever is easiest for you. We're gonna pull twice in here, and then we're gonna switch legs. Really reaching long with the leg extended. And switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Pull, 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 switch. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. One more each side. Bring your knees into the chest. Just lower your head for a minute and look to the left. And look to the right. And now we're gonna get ready for double leg. So I'm gonna curl back up and I'm gonna stay right in this ball. And then I'm going to extend my legs out and my hands out the opposite over by my ears. I'm gonna reach long with my arms. And then I'm going to exhale my air as I bring the knees into the chest. Inhale, we go up and reach long. Exhale, we circle around, bring the knees into the chest. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, 
knees come in. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, bring it in. Again, keeping your tailbone long towards six. Last one. Inhale, exhale. All the air comes out. We're moving on to scissors. If you need to lower your head, go ahead. We're going to extend the right leg up to the ceiling. The left leg goes out. I'm going to put my hands right on my calf, and I'm going to pull my leg towards my nose, and I'm going to switch. This is a great hamstring stretch. So it's a pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch. If you need to bend your knees, not a big deal. Pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch. Last one each leg. And bring the knees into the chest, lower the head, look to the left, look to the right. And we're gonna go for double leg lower and lift. Head comes back up, so I'm gonna curl right to my shoulder blades. My hands go one-on-one -on, -one on top of each other. I'm gonna lift my legs to 90 degrees. And I'm gonna lower, 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 lift. Lower, 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 lift with my belly. Lower, 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 lift with my belly. Last one, lower, 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 lift my belly. We're gonna move right into the next one, which is side to side. Leg goes out, left leg goes out. Right knee bends, and all I'm gonna do is lift my shoulder towards my knee. So it's a twist with the waist, and then I'm gonna switch. The elbows reach wide and switch. So it's really just a lift of the shoulder blade. When you have the elbows wide, we really have to think about twisting from the waist. And switch. Last one each side. Knees come in, lower the head, look to your right, look to your left, lower the feet. We're gonna come up for spine stretch forward. So any way you wanna come up, whether it's walking up, I'm going to flex my feet. And this is a nice breathing exercise. I'm gonna lift nice and out of the tailbone. So the whole part is to also stay very lifted right into your lower back. My shoulders are nice and relaxed. My arms are forward, but they're not, like I'm not rounding my back. I want my shoulder blades pinching together. My shoulders are relaxed. I'm gonna sit up nice and tall and take a deep breath in. I'm gonna curl my chin, not all the way down to my chest, and then I'm going to exhale as I go forward. As I'm going forward, I'm bringing my belly button into the back. So I'm making a nice like hollow out into my tummy. And then I'm gonna sit back up, stacking one vertebrae at a time. So I'm like pinching off my sits bones. I'm gonna look at the mat, take a deep breath in. And as I go forward, I'm exhaling. And then I'm gonna sit back up one vertebrae at a time. Pinching up off the sits bones, deep breath in. Looking at my mat, I'm gonna exhale my air and come forward. Should be feeling a nice stretch into your hamstrings also. If you need to bend your knees, that's okay. So you take a nice deep breath in, exhale. And sitting up nice and tall. One more, deep breath in. Chin looks down to the mat, exhale forward. And sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna move into just a little lower um, uh, flexation. So I want you to come onto your belly. And this is just called swan. So it's really all about just giving some flexation into your lower back. So I would, facing my uh, face down onto the mat, I've got my belly tucked in, my arms are wherever they are comfortable for your shoulder. I do not want to have, if you have shoulder pain, go ahead and move the position because really all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to lift my nose and as I lift my nose, I'm going to look up and I just want to go to the top of my hips. And then I'm going to exhale and lower back down. So I'm drawing like a line with my nose again. 
and I'm giving my heart to the wall in front of me. My shoulders are down the back. And I'm going to exhale and come back down. Deep breath in brings me up. If you want to, you can extend your arms as long as your hips don't come off that mat. So I'm pretty tight in my lower back, so I'm not going to do that today. And I'm going to exhale, come all the way down. I'm going to lift up and come into a child's pose. On the child's pose, we don't want to collapse. It's still a working child's pose. So I've still got my abs engaged. And I'm sitting back, not all the way down onto my feet. And I'm just reaching long, stretching out my lower back. Deep breath in, exhale. Now I'm going to sit back onto the mat and we're going to do some teaser. So I've got my knees bent and my legs are together, my feet are together. The teaser works like this my arms are forward. I'm going to stick out one leg so I've got my right leg out. And I'm going to slowly curl my belly down and lower down one vertebrae at a time. So really keep that pelvis long towards six. My arms go back. And it's like doing the roll up, but we're challenging it with the leg out. And I'm lifting up out of my lower back. I'm going to lower back down. Arms go back. Arms come forward, head comes up, curling, 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 curling. Switch legs. And I'm going to curl down one vertebrae at a time. Arms go back, arms come forward, head lifts, and we curl up. Remember to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. And now I'm going to lower back down, really reach your tailbone long towards six. Arms go back, and we roll back up. Last one, we roll down. Ooh, getting a charging face. And arms come up. And we're going to go into the mermaid stretch. I always like to uh, do the mermaid stretch in any exercise because again, it opens up our hips. The mermaid stretch, my leg, my left leg is uh, perpendicular to my right knee. My right hand is over onto my left, um, or over onto my right ankle. My left hand comes up and I'm going to gently reach over, get a nice stretch. I don't want to collapse on this side, so this is still working. And then I'm going to come back to center. Reaching over, come back to center, reaching over, coming back to center, bring your arms to a T and reach over to the other side, giving a nice stretch. Really reach that upper arm towards the wall and come back to center. Last one, hand goes down. Lifting up nice and tall on this side. I'm gonna reach over. I'm gonna come back to center. And I'm gonna go stretch the other side. Come back to center. And switch legs. Arm goes up. I'm gonna reach over and I'm gonna come back to center. Arm goes up, I'm gonna reach over to my left. Ooh, arm comes back to center. Last one, I'm gonna reach up. And this time as I come forward, I'm gonna bring my arms to a T and reach to the other side. Getting a nice stretch. And we come back to center. Reaching up, ooh, nice stretch. Come to the T, stretch to the other side. 
and come back to center. Then we're just gonna do one more child's pose. So we're gonna come back onto our knees and our hands and just do nice child's pose. Again, it's a working child's pose. Let's take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, look to the left, look to the right. Come back to tabletop, just hands and knees. And we are done. Nice workout, everyone. I hope you had a great workout. You're ready for uh, the day. Thanks, Lisa. It was really nice. Traction felt so good at the beginning. That was a really nice uh, addition, giving ourselves a little, um, little traction. <laughs> Stretching out our backs. I think we've all been sitting way too much, you know? Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, we'll see you soon and uh, stay cool down there in Florida. And I will share this around with everybody um, as I have been doing. All right? Happy. Happy. Lots of thanks and Olga feels awake. So, so that's awesome. All right. Have a good run, everyone. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye.